What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. I believe the day is the 5th of September and I'm wearing uh, two pairs of safety glasses um, because UV protection on one and just UV on the other and awesome stuff. Yeah, so this is uh, a popper update. Uh, really it's a uh, noble gas engine update and a few other things. Uh, so really quickly I'm going to run through you uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration today of the circuit that I put together. Uh, when I say I'm going to do something, I usually kick some freaking butt and get it done. and uh, Or at least I try my best to. And uh, So I'm going to show you the circuit and a few other things. Real quickly, the RF versus uh, uh, radioactive material in this device. Um, I just wanted to inform you really quickly. Um, I did get the RF amplifier. 100 watts selectable, 25, 50, 75, and 100. And the CB here uh, to run it, channel 12. Uh, what is that? 27.125 megahertz, I believe. Um, so uh, one of my friends at work, he's a radio guy, and uh, he luckily had some of this stuff. He, we traded for some things, so I'm lucky enough to have that. Um, uh, zero fossil fuel. He's the same guy I was talking to you about. And uh, so there's that. Um, I think that's it on parts, pieces, things, and stuff. I am going to build the chamber, um, replicate what Bob has, actually. And um, I've got all the fittings, the sight glass, um, the electrodes. Uh, they're tungsten thoriated, quarter inch. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you, but I'll do that later. This video, I just want to demonstrate my circuit because i got to get going here. It's late. I recorded two videos today. My wife's yelling at me to get inside. We're going to go eat. Um, so I'm not going to go over this circuit in great detail, but basically I have here a spark gap that I put together. Those are tungsten electrodes with uh, heat sinks mounted in, on them, or I mounted them on heat sinks, I should say. It's on a piece of uh, mica type board material. And then uh, I have my high voltage uh, transformer that's 12,000 volts. I've got that hooked up to a variac, and then I've got my... Um, really good uh, exploding capacitors in here, uh, 50,000 volts max I'm using for this box anyway. <clears throat> and uh, I've got a kind of a mess here because what I have, oh, well, continuing on, I've got all that hooked up to a little transformer that I made. This transformer is on a ferrite core, alright, and it's literally the high voltage charges up the capacitor, discharges across these gaps and induces a really high pulse magnetic field into this core. On the other side of this core is the other windings which come out to my spark gap. All right, That is actually how this circuit works. I'll give you more details later. I just had enough time to even show you this thing today, so I apologize for the poor presentation. Right here, which I almost touched and shot the piss out of myself, um, I have a bank of 330 volt fla photo flash capacitors. Okay, you can count them. I don't remember how many is on there. I think like 20, 25, something like that. And um, I've got those charged right now to 181 volts. I'm actually using my neon sign transformer to charge those. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and uh, let that charge up to 330 volts or right there at it. And then I'm going to disconnect everything else and I'm going to show you what happens. Then I'll show you what happens without the capacitor bank. All right. Um, now you're gonna have to excuse my language, but uh, when this baby hits 88 miles an hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Yes. All right. You ready for this? If you know where that's from, oh, let me know if you know where that's from. I bet you do. All right. I just knocked over my stuff, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll zoom out enough so you can see everything. Just knocked off the meter, but that's all right. I don't need it. I'm going to disconnect all of this stuff anyway. Turn this very act down. I'm going to disconnect the capacitor bank without shopping myself. Alright. I'm going to be hooking this up to this. Alright. That sets my... Uh, basically what's happening right now disconnect everything so nothing's connected. I don't want to break anything here. Dangerous stuff. Uh, 
Basically what I have right now is whenever this spark gap jumps and induces a voltage into that coil, there will be an arc across this spark gap. This is approximately, well this is exactly 10, or I should say 1 centimeter, 10 millimeters. Okay, if I got that right. Uh, and that is approximately what Bob is using. But what's going to happen is this capacitor bank is going to jump across this gap, all right? As soon as I get the voltage up high enough, it will take this capacitor bank and discharge it across the ionized air gap, all right? All right, <clears throat> had a little distraction. My wife is watching from a distance. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything in here, the very act included, so that you can see exactly what's going to happen here. Now I'm just going to slowly turn this up and discharge that capacitor bank across this spark gap. Now this capacitor bank isn't the biggest, but you'll get the point. So here we go. Oh yeah! Good stuff, good stuff, right. Um, That's the second time I did it. I'll get the other clip, and uh, I'll put it on the uh, put it on there as well. I got a little bit more of a close up, but basically, what you just saw <clears throat> was this capacitor bank. <clears throat> excuse me, discharge across this right here. Now, what I want to show you real quick is if I take this capacitor bank off, and I just took up the spark gap. All right. Then, uh, then this is basically what it, it what it looks like while it's activating, right before it actually popped, like I just showed you. So <clears throat> I'm not going to show you the very act, but this is what it looks like. And this disconnects totally this spark gap from this total other circuit that's over here, okay? So that's why I built it like that. All right. That's it. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, cool. Worked. And there's people outside. Ah! Well then, this has been an entertaining video, I hope, and I hope you understand what I'm doing here and try to comprehend it. I will uh, draw schematics once I uh, verify that this is the way I like it, but um, yeah, this is what I did for the last day or two. Uh, actually, just thought about this yesterday and put it together last night, uh, and here I am testing it out. So. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, Russ with RWG Research, leave a comment as always. I do try to get back to my comments right away, but you guys got to understand that I have like 3,000 comments to reply to, and if, if, it's t if it takes me two weeks to get back with you, I apologize. I've actually went back and I got like four more videos with like 80 comments each that I got to reply to, so I like doing that though. I, uh, I like giving feedback if you give feedback, because that's the way it's supposed to work. Um, Let's see, I'm going to turn everything off and unplug everything. I'm just going to leave it just like this. Woo! Yeah, the outside lab where Russ sweats his balls off for humanity. The end. See you guys. Have a good day.